Ladies and gentlemen, one and not the Royal Rumble was Kurt Angle managed to retain the World Heavyweight Championship, and we're heading into No Way Out. The road to WrestleMania 2 continues. Who will be the next challengers inside the Elimination Chamber? There will be five qualifying matches tonight. Winners will face Kurt Angle inside the Elimination Chamber at No Way Out, and here comes Danny Jackpot, who is not in any of the qualifying matches. He can tell that Danny Jackpot is in a foul move. He thought he had it at the Royal Rumble, but unfortunately for him, he was eliminated. He can tell that he wanted to have a chance to qualify for the Elimination Chamber. At least, he thinks he's supposed to be a shoe in for that match. So say, I know Danny. And uh, he, he's one to act like that. Here, ladies and gentlemen, this is SmackDown. This is the first of three stops before No Way Out. has to say we're live from Columbus, Ohio is Homer Town here. It's so bitter. Just complaining and whining and whining. Demanding answers from Teddy Long, the general manager, calling out the general manager right now. Hold on a second. Here comes John Cena. I think John Cena's had enough of Danny's whining and crying and complaining. John Cena, I mean, he's not one to complain. He earns his way up. You know, these two go a long way back. Danny Jackson took the power from Cena. Cena. Now, now they still call one it from Danny that paid a four way, and that's for 49. And they've had past three three new WWE. Cena beat Danny at two WWE WrestleMania earlier this year. Yeah. Danny just blaming Cena. I mean, he's bringing stuff up in another league. It's just... Cena Del Rio tonight. That's right. Danny Jackson, he did do Rey Mysterio, but he, the way he enforced himself, he took Rey Mysterio's spot. And management just felt he's not worthy of it. I mean, yeah, he beat Rey Mysterio, but... Danny says it's not the end. He was in a qualifying match against Evan Bourne later tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Actually wants to continue moving up in the rankings. I mean, he has a rematch close for the Intercontinental title, but he seems to be right passing it. He wants something even bigger, that being the World Heavyweight Championship. And by the way, the Intercontinental title has come kind of rashly into the main event. Speaking of main event, here comes Goldberg. Um, Raw Goldberg just shocked the whole wrestling community when he made the challenge to The Undertaker. I mean, he played a little bit of mind games with The Undertaker. After Undertaker left, Undertaker came back, gave the message that was on. Goldberg 
slowly walk away, then all of a sudden, BAM! A spear hits out of nowhere, and The Undertaker never saw it coming. But Goldberg seems to be playing a mind game. He seems to be the one who thinks he can defeat the last outlaw at WrestleMania 2. But tonight, he has a match for the Radar Superstar Edge and a qualifying match for the Elimination Chamber. Now, well, and if Goldberg were to win here and win the Elimination Chamber, could it mean Goldberg versus Undertaker for the World Heavyweight Championships? And the coup, and the streak? That would be huge! No, they're not, but Goldberg would get back on Edge after the antics he pulled when Edge took the title away from Goldberg when Edge came from Raw. Spectrum took that pick from Black and Rice. Calls all that chaos on Spectrum. Says the mind games have begun. Goldberg is playing mind games. This is it's to submit his legacy. All he has to do is to be the last outlaw. He's beaten everyone from Hogan to Sting. The one man Goldberg has never beaten is The Undertaker. He wants to avenge the loss of his former friend Sting, which ended Sting's career, which is why Sting is not in WEDF now, because he lost at WrestleMania. It ended his career, and Goldberg wants to avenge that loss. Oh, that. And undefeated. 19 and 0 of the Undertaker and wants to make it 19 and 1. Actually, instead of making it 19 and 0, he is getting like this. Yeah, 19. He doesn't want to make it 20 and 0. Undertaker 19 and 0 at WrestleMania. And he doesn't want to make it. 20 and 0, Goldberg says that one loss is going to be from him. And here comes the Radar Superstar Edge, and these two have a lot of history. And this dates back to when Goldberg had to go through all those defenses because of Vicky Guerrero. I'm not sure why Vicky Guerrero had beef with Goldberg. It seemed like she had a plan to bring Edge over something. I, I don't know. Anyway, Goldberg's going to make sure Edge pays here tonight. Match is underway. Goldberg versus Edge. I wouldn't want to be in Edge's shoes right now. Goldberg make a sign of maybe things to come, but Edge having none of it going right to the stripes. Edge and a big shoulder tackle. Goldberg already getting going here tonight. And what a right hand knocking down Edge. Almost knocking him out. Goldberg's on a mission to avenge Edge and get a shot at the Elimination Chamber. And a close line not sending Edge over the top rope. Goldberg looking at least more pain and suffering on Edge. He's acting his revenge onto the rated R superstar. An ultimate opportunist takes advantage of Goldberg slowly to make his way back in the ring. And Edge has the control. That's what makes Edge so good. That's what makes him the ultimate opportunist. Even when he's down and out, the one opportunity he finds, the one opening, he capitalizes. Edge with the right hands. And now, oh, and Domatic here. We got to cover. One, two, and Goldberg kicked down two. Oh, 
Bob and Bob. Deck. Now Edge. What's it going for here? Look at the strength of Edge. Suplex into a cover. Will this be a one? Two. You see Edge going for these unique covers, trying to find a way to make Goldberg away. Now going for the legs. That takes the power game away from Goldberg. If I'm Edge, I want to ground Goldberg. Now Edge shoving in the face of Goldberg, and Goldberg having none of it fighting back. Goldberg go for a suplex, no one home. And Edge jumping DDT. Now Edge, can he capitalize on the mistake from Goldberg? Two, and a kick out. Goldberg called up, oh, met him with a clothesline. So far, this has been an evenly match. Even, an even match, oh my. No one has seemed to get the opening in Goldberg down with a clothesline. Goldberg's feeling it. Another clothesline. Goldberg is feeling it, trying to get the upper hand now. Can he continue the momentum shift? Goldberg, power slam. And we have a cover now. One, two, Edge kicks out. And Goldberg back body drop. Ladies and gentlemen, Goldberg stalking his prey. Looking can put Edge away, looking for that spear. And the jackhammer following that. Oh, what a knee. Knee straight to the face. Goldberg whipping edge again. And another shoulder tackle. Goldberg has all of the momentum. And a Goldberg. What's he going for here? Is he going for the jackhammer? No. Huge neck breaker into the cover. Will this be for the Radar Superstar? One, two, and a kick out on edge. And a cold line. Uh oh. Goldberg looking to signal the end. Is this the end for it? Wait a minute. The lights go out. Edge! Spear! That came out of nowhere. That spear came out of nowhere. That two and three. Edge wins. Undertaker getting a little payback. The mind games. And Colson Goldberg, a shot at the world at a chance for at competing for the World Heavyweight Championship in the Elimination Chamber and no way out. And the ultimate opportunity strikes again. Edge, a manipulative edge, strikes again and Cowboys on, on the opportunity to the former members of Team Angle. Angle saying he doesn't. Angle was said after the rumble. It, why is Swagger's dying and gotten a chance? He's just putting Swagger down all the time and. This is if he makes a pass with no way out, he'll get a shot. The World Championship. 